It's been 20 years since Laguna Beach. Almost, yeah. I know, it's hard to believe, yeah. What's life been like since? <laughs> it's been a wild ride, you know, I mean, I was in high school when that started, mm. and really that show fell into my lap, and so, you know, when I graduated high school, I moved up here to LA, and I just kind of rode the wave, and, you know, I had a lot of fun, did a, did a lot of exciting things, but now I'm in Franklin, Tennessee, and I gotta say, it's just, Nice to kind of be out of entertainment, but dip my toe back in when I want to. Um, I have three kids, and I live a very normal life, I would say, as much as possible. Nice. Um, and I've sort of set it up where everything I'm doing now, you know, cookbooks, I have my lifestyle brand on Common James. I can do most of that from my house and mm. just be mom first and foremost, which has that been really nice. That amazing. <laughs> I, I'm a mom, too. So I totally get it. Yeah. But it sounds like your cookbook would be helpful to a mom like me because yes. I'm not the best cook. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I, what's your favorite part about being a mom? I mean, it's everything. You know, these little guys, they're such good mirrors for us, and I think they're our best teachers. Um, but just having all of that love and having these little guys to, to raise and you get to instill what wisdom you've learned over the years and... It's just, it's, it's given me real purpose in life, I would say. Um, and it's, it's the best thing I've ever done, truly. Yes. Yeah. You seem such like a great mother. Oh, thanks. It's, it, you just... Thank you. Breathing, it's all over you. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> what, should, what would be your advice to your kids if they wanted to do a reality TV show? Well, I would say no until they're 18. <laughs> <laughs> until they're 18. Until they're 18. I mean, listen, if they want to pursue a career in entertainment when they're 18, absolutely, I will support it. Mm -hmm. Um, but, you know, until they're 18, I want them to just be kids. It's hard enough being in high school and doing, you know, everything that you're doing as a kid. So just focus on that, and, you know, we'll cross that bridge when it comes. But, you know, it's funny because, so I have two boys and a girl. They're 10, almost 9, and 7, and the boys are obsessed with YouTube stars wow. now. And so they're like, we want a YouTube channel. I'm like, no, we're not. We're not doing any of that. <laughs> I don't even put them on Instagram. And so, oh. yeah, I just try to keep them... Keep them kids as long as possible. I love that. Keep them kids. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. great, great advice. And you're, you're single now as well. I am single. So are you tired <laughs> of people asking you about dating, <laughs> being single? I know, the number one question. No, listen, I get it. I totally get it. Um, I just have sort of taken a stance that until I'm in a serious, committed relationship, there's nothing really to report. I'm having fun. I do have good dating stories. Mm. This is the first time in my life I've really dated. I always had boyfriends. I got married very young, and so I'm just enjoying it. I'm going on dates. I'm an active dater, and it's been fun, but there's no one to report back on just I yet. I like that <laughs> attitude about it. That's like, right. <laughs> I ain't nothing to write home about. <laughs> okay, so what are you looking for in a guy? Okay, so I am looking for someone who is so secure, just so comfortable in their skin. And I really want a buddy. I want someone that I can laugh with, just have fun with. Um, you know, and obviously now, once you have kids dating, it, it changes because I want someone obviously who's gonna be very good to my kids, who's a good dad. So those things are very important, but you know, I'm in a lucky position because I don't need a guy for anything. I just want to be with someone because they bring me joy. And so I actually think in the dating world, it's a good spot to be in. But um, it has its challenges for sure. I actually think most men actually want to be needed. So it can be a little threatening for guys. She I'm said what she No, you don't be sorry. You said it. <laughs> well, fellas, you heard that. We'll be right back. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.